You try anything funny, anything, I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu-Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuffie Kisaragi! <laughs> okay, let's see over here, and... <laughs> about an orb or two? Check out the best locally made accessories right here. Hey there, welcome. You in the market for materia? Selection. We're stuck with every little thing you need. I'll buy you a ring as a sister.
Service. So we've got to walk? Uh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> 
All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go. You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Ooh, okay. Ooh, didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warm in the bed. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant, tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face. Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you two, Tifa. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the material... I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> I think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do.
Let's do that. that. With me! This one's for you! We're gone! Nothing to it. Time to celebrate. Still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? Relax. It happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! today and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. You can try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> I guess these days never learn to greet each other or something.
villain. Here you go. some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here...
say no more. One more shot! The Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This? 
This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your royal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Yeah? Let me in. Um, Elmira? Zach, right? Yeah. <sighs> Where is she? Upstairs. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. Huh. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... 
Yes, I know. Huh? Aerith! She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Is. It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. up a sweat so how'd recon go all clear no nasty surprises and no materia <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor which is the whole reason we're here so hurry it up or those hooded guys will beat us to it That's it. Shinra invaded Wutai, it was 
pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <laughs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They've been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but why the interim? Because once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just Gonna stand there? Let's get going! down there is Mako? Yep. Then it's got to be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful it's scary! Grown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. Hey, not cool. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> Guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is. And talking won't stop him.
Let's do this. Let's go. Till we lower it. This sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. <sighs> We're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Cloud! Come on. the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me.
help them. Way ahead of ya!
Lord. What the? Leave me alone. Hey! Someone has a fan. Ah, uh, no fair. Got enough hangers on already, but fine. <laughs> Mind you of anyone? It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> that settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Junior. <laughs> hey, we could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. Okay, one of these buttons ought to do it. But which one? Now I got this. First that, then... <laughs> they did it! Nice. Right. Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. Right? 
except that mind can discern far more. <laughs>
You okay? I'm seeing stars. Cloud, you're so gonna pay for this. <laughs> Give the man a break. I think it was a memorable experience. Still alive. Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? Think of him as a tag along. Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm. Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad he did. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes welcome. Leave him alone! Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Word to the wise! Stay far away from that asshole! Now, where'd our buddies in black get to?
this one will fetch a ton of kill. Don't tell me. Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for a year. One kill, fail! Nah, way too expensive. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Welcome to North Korea. The coal mining industry here was the largest employer and backbone of the local community. But everything changed. As you can see, this village is a casualty of progress. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. What are you looking at? If you got something to say, just know that I'm... That's right. You shaking in your... Oh. But it seems to me like... And if I whoop your ass, you gotta give me...
a secret. The truth is, my bail from the bandit life is I just couldn't hack it. So I... You gotta tell me. What's the trick? What? Don't like hanging out. Well, better hang on to that gill of yours. Cause next time we meet, get it. Curious about this old I'm Dorian. Representative. It is my duty to support. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread. How may I be of service? What's wrong? Why are you barking? Oh, don't mind Rolf here. He's just a bit worked up. Wait, do you... Rolf gets really excited whenever he's in... You may find this hard to believe, but he's the world's only canine competitor. And he's pretty good, too. <laughs> he's saying he wants to go around.
Uh-oh, someone's a sore loser. But you gotta admit, he's pretty good, right? Uh, mate, Rolf is actually... And once we get famous, we can finally kiss this town goodbye. We got this. Right, Rolf? <laughs> Someone I want to see. Hmm? When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. But it hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Ha. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. If there's one thing you can count on, it's Dr. Sheeran. He's been so, here since the old mining days. Doc mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to. Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. 
Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys. Got it. Oh, man. This is gonna be so much fun. Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. In four years. Not a do us a this favor. place is nothing like it was. Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I gotta. We have one of your robed men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in their head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Spoke with some of the neighbors, but they weren't much help. No one saw anything out of the ordinary. You know, it could be that the perpetrator threw on a hood to blend in. Without anyone to bet so much as an eyelash or one more robe walking around. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already! Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our robed friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. Like blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Wouldn't recommend going out there.
Their sense seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. No. Oh. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kid. <laughs> Aw, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <sighs> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. You gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to you. Don't hold back. <laughs> Once we found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Sheeran asked us to rescue his patient. We didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood.
This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> Excuse me? I'm suspicious? Or the robed guy? Who? A smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? <sighs> okay, where is he? 
think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive. Bury the breath. I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. No. I got your number. Oh, we're gonna... What? <sighs> hey! We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. <sighs> what? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me. If I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days I'll win you over.
This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Sud and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let him tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Ecstatic. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. Why 
I burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. <laughs> that they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. The saucer's waiting. really how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Uh. <sighs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. <laughs> 